everyone, welcome to my channel. If you like this content, please like, subscribe, and leave a comment in the comment section. Today what we're going to be talking about is the manga Inuyasha, analyzing all the different variants and prints, and unboxing the newest part of my collection from his action. So this manga actually came from Scotland, and as you can see from the picture, it was really taped up. We're going to unbox this and talk a little bit about the manga. So Inuyasha is a manga series which was also known at one point as Inuyasha, a feudal fairy tale, written and illustrated by Rumiko Takahashi. This is a collection 1 through 46. The manga series itself goes to 56 volumes. This is the old school print. It had a lot of different variants. Nowadays, if you want to get it, there is the Viz Big version, which has 18 in its set. So this is number six. You can see it, we've got some really beautiful art here and this interesting because it was published in the US the first 30 some odd mangas were made to be read left to right so as you can see you're reading like this and there are a lot of different nuances some of the characters such as Kikyo Kagame are drawn very similarly in here there are some different translations in here as well. It's down here. We've got seven right here. This set particularly has a mixture of good condition and slightly used. I do have an X library in here as well. Again, since this is seven, it's reading left to right. The back here shows the synopsis of the manga, and then at the bottom, it's a synopsis of this particular volume. For those of you who may or may not know, this manga is shonen. As of September 2020, this manga has over 50 million copies out. I'm going to put this here. And here we have an X library. This is number nine. We've got Peach Nectar story there. Still really good condition. This is wrapped. Inuyasha was first serialized in the weekly Shonen Sunday in November of 96. There are 558 chapters which have all been bound into the 56 volumes which you'll see partially here. Okay, so this is really cool. So now I've just pulled out one of the older books. This is 42. Now, in the U.S., like I said, first read left to right, and then all of a sudden it, it reads right to left. And this is an example, this is 42. This is, a, it says shown in Sunday up here, and it reads the proper, the proper way. And you've got the first scroll with the characters right here. After its debut in 96 in the weekly Shonen Sunday, it actually didn't become bound and sold until 97. Actually, when the series was licensed, it was actually licensed as a comic book on a monthly basis under the name Inuyasha, a feudal fairy tale, that later was scrapped in favor of having a more traditional manga style. So originally the first 12 volumes this is 12, volume 12, so that's funny that I said that. Originally, they had the first 12 volumes under the name and subtitle Inuyasha, a feudal fairy tale. But they also started making these Viz Action copies, which meant that later on they would scrap the Inuyasha, feudal fairy tale and that print design. I actually had two of those mangas. I had volume two and three. And now that I'm collecting Viz Action, I'm thinking, you know, maybe I want to collect those 12 volumes as well. This is 21. Going into the reprints of 1 through 37, they actually decided that when they were going to print it, they weren't going to change it right to left like they did with 38 and onwards. And I think it's it's really cool these like slight nuances to the manga. So this is the right to left reading. This particular one is actually a little bit more worn down than some of the others. Take a peek at the art here. And it, it has a note that says that this book reads from right to left because it's sold in the US. 
Typically in Japan, you wouldn't have to say anything, they would just know. So in 2009, Viz made a decision to start publishing Viz Big and stopping the publishing of Viz Action in Yasha Manga. This meant that the first three volumes were now going to be combined into one big volume. This diminished the size of the collection from 56 to 18. This would also restore the larger pages. Viz Big has way bigger pages than Viz Action does. It also grants you a bonus page with some color, which is similar to what some of the older books used to do. This, this is where it all started. So this is number one, and this one reads typical of how you read in the US. Interestingly enough, this actually is marked as Inuyasha Feudal Fairy Tale, which is actually incorrect. One thing about the Viz Bigs is those are the volumes that you can get today. It still seems pretty hard to find. So, so far we've covered Inuyasha showing up in the weekly Onen Sunday. We've also covered the Feudal Fairy Tale volumes up to 12. Now we've covered the Viz Action collectible 56 volumes, 558 chapters. The first 1 through 37 are in left to right format. The rest from 38 to 56 are right to left, like Japanese formatting. Then it is extended into the Viz Big volumes. Viz Big combines three volumes into one. It also expands the page size so you get the original graphic formatting, but also it gives you the bonus extra color pages. Some of the volumes originally did in the first prints, and now they no longer do in Viz Action. So those are all the manga copies, but Inuyasha also released something called Annie Manga. The Annie Manga is essentially screenshots of the anime bounded in manga format. You're not getting the same story, it follows the anime, it's at a higher price point, the imagery is crisp, the pages are higher quality, but at the same time, it defeats the purpose of getting manga in the first place. A quick background on why I decided that this was something I had to do now. I'm gonna take this guy because I love this one. I actually had this along with a bunch of others, maybe in the first 10 or so of the manga. So this is actually one of my favorite volumes. The start of my collection was I had a combination of Viz Action as well as Inuyasha Feudal Fairy Tale, part of the original 12 volumes. Over time, I had just given away, I had donated books to libraries, I had sold books. It was one of the biggest regrets that I had, and I knew that one day I would get my Inuyasha collection back again and I would complete it. Now that Yashihime has been announced and the show has started running, there's been an extreme uptick in interest in Inuyasha. If you wanted a full set of Viz Action, which is no longer in print, you were likely spending a decent amount of money. And now today, you're very unlikely to even find a full collection. And the prices range, the first couple of copies, you can find some used for a couple bucks. As you start getting into 40s and 50s, the numbers range. You could be spending $20 per volume, you could be spending $150 per volume. It really depends. There are not a lot out in circulation and there are not a lot out together. It's very, very hard to complete a set. I've seen some of the best manga collectors and they don't even have a complete Viz Action set. They have a complete Viz Big set. After this run, I'm gonna try and collect the next 10. This was only one through 46. It was the best that I saw. Like I said, a lot of this is a mix of quality. There is some new, there is some old. You can see the one closest to my right, your left, has very white pages. The one in, in the middle has more of a bland. I'm probably gonna be replacing a couple of these. Some of the yellow has faded from some of these. Obviously, some are more old than others. Putting all these together like this is so satisfying to see the yellow. I'm Super happy. I'm gonna try my best to store these as well as possible. I always wanted a library in my home. It was an ongoing joke that I was gonna have a room solely dedicated to Niyasha. Some of my peers have really awesome manga collections and they have their own little library room specifically dedicated to manga. For me, I'm trying to have a room full of manga books, but I also, in my dream, would love to have a room solely dedicated to Niyasha. I'm so excited to see the story get extended into Yashihime, and hopefully it won't make it harder for me to find more of these books. So, thank you everyone for joining. Let me know what you thought of this analysis. If you like this content, please like, subscribe, and leave a comment in the comment section.